Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin and today we're gonna do a quick test on the iPhone 6s camera versus the DSLR 70D camera or any other DSLR in general just to see the image quality as well as the stabilization in the camera and we're gonna see what type of picture and video we can produce out of both of them using a cinematic color look as well as just a regular stock look. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this test started. Yeah. So what I'll be doing first is testing out to see which camera you guys think would look better. I'm going to use this camera as well as the iPhone 6 let me know what you guys think is which and we'll go over the overall look of each All right guys, so if you didn't notice, camera one is the iPhone and camera two is the DSLR. I'm very surprised at how well these turned out, especially with the color grading. The iPhone S actually picked up really, really good color grading. I actually do have an iPhone 7 Plus, uh, but I wanted to use the oldest 4K camera that I have in my, in my possession to show you guys the quality based on what it's like a four-year-old camera phone versus the maybe two-year-old camera uh, that I have in my possession. But yeah, guys, that's the uh, iPhone 6 versus the 70D DSLR. Uh, super, super cool. I actually had a lot of fun doing this, so I'm pretty surprised how it turned out. But yeah, I have a few more thoughts uh, about the whole iPhone and uh, large camera size difference. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much how it looks. I wanted to show you guys the difference. Um, so a lot of people have been approaching me uh, and asking me about camera suggestions, and honestly, it really just depends on what exactly you're going to be doing with your YouTube channel. If you plan on making really, really high quality content or if you need something with a flip out screen, you need something with a better microphone or you just want to be somebody that points and shoots whenever they go somewhere. There's really, really no big one size fits all camera for every situation. It just depends on what you are able to use at certain points in time. Uh, if, if it was my suggestion, if you're just starting out, I would definitely recommend just using your phone to start out. Uh, first of all, it's very, very inconspicuous when you're talking to a camera in public. Also, it's easier to set up. You can just get an app, click record. You don't have to worry about lenses, zooming in, and autofocus. It does everything for you. Uh, there's really nothing major with a phone that you have to worry about. Uh, when you move up, you can probably go into a point-and-shoot camera, which is a smaller camera, very similar to the size of the phone, except now you have in-body stabilization, you also have your audio pickup from the front of the camera, and then you also have the built-in zoom, which sometimes you need in order for you to get faraway shots or just uh, per uh, similar shots in general. Uh, but then, once you get to that point, if you want to get something more production quality, you can look into getting the DSLR, which is uh, similar to what I have, the Canon 70D. They also have the 80D, the SL2, and many others. My biggest thing, honestly, uh, for, for anything is that the cameras really don't matter. The quality of the camera doesn't matter, how great the camera doesn't matter. If you don't have good story, if you don't start, you're not actually going to create anything great. I know a lot of people that have cameras. The biggest thing with me, my development over the year, is that uh, I was, you know, I watched Casey Neistat, I watched a lot of Peter McKinnon, and I, and I developed my style uh, myself to help benefit myself so that I wasn't spending more time editing and focusing on getting perfect shots uh, that I just pretty much cut all my extra b-roll out and just went to something simpler where I'm, I'm recording the story of my day and putting it into a vlog rather than focusing on all the extra stuff. Now later down the road that may be something I put back in there but some, it's, it's for me as it is right now that's a part of who I am. Uh, me I'm focused on the family. 
Uh, I don't want to spend all the time editing. If you guys don't know me, I spent uh, the majority of my time uh, editing my videos, my vlogs, and it just spent, I just spent so much time on there that I wasn't spending enough time with family. And honestly, it, it, it can really affect your, your, your content because you may not be happy as you were when you started. Uh, you may not be spending the time that you want with your family, so it feels like YouTube becomes a job. And you don't want it to be like that, so that, that's really where I'm at right now. Now let's go to our uh, DSLR camera. The DSLR camera, the Canon 70D, uh, they also have the 80D, they have all the Sony A6500, 6300, then you have the GHS, which is basically what most YouTubers on uh, the higher end video quality use uh, for 4K video as well as the uh, stabilization, and the in-body stabilization. Uh, I think it's a great camera. I really do. I love DSLRs. They're awesome. Uh, I'm probably going to upgrade my DSLR in the future, but I don't think it's 100% necessary for you to make good videos. Uh, I've seen a lot of great videos kind of come out of a point and shoot, sometimes a G7X, which is a smaller Canon point and shoot, and then they have the RX100, which is the Sony 4K uh, point and shoot camera, and they shoot amazing quality. I, even my 330HS camera, it shoots amazing quality. It's, it's, you can make it look very cinematic if you wanted to. Uh, I can actually even attach it to my 3X's gimbal using for my phone. And it shoots amazing content. But um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I just want to show you the main differences of the DSLR as well as the phone. And I really just inform you guys that the gear doesn't matter. Don't worry about cameras. Don't worry about lighting like I have right here. Use what you have. Use natural lighting. Use bathroom lighting. Uh, pick up audio. Just get closer if you want to have better audio. Uh, turn down everything in the background if you want better audio. It may take a little extra, but you can get the same exact quality content if you work hard enough out of the regular phone. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.